society which is uh, uh, you know everyone's uh, boon or bane kind of a situation so i think uh, we look forward to this wonderful session so i think to kick off just before we kick off the session uh, we have a wonderful event that is coming up uh, on this saturday and uh, you know i think uh, this has been the flagship event for bombay chartered accountant society uh, you know for years uh, uh, together and many students uh, in large numbers have been participating in this contest uh, so i think uh, we look forward you know to each of you joining uh, this session and we look forward to your participation in that so i'll invite uh, siddhi uh, to kind of you know give us a glimpse of uh, what is expected at today's at at uh, the saturday's event and uh, yeah siddhi if you if you're around if you can just uh, turn on your camera and your mic please yes thank you sir uh, shall i start yes please yes good morning everyone i am siddhi bora from the students committee of tarang 2022 first of all thank you so much for allowing me to speak in this meeting i am here to pitch an invitation for the 14th jal eraj dastur ca students annual day taram 2022 this year's fest has groomed beyond our expectations we are here to break the stereotypes that a ca student only studies for 18 hours a day and he does nothing else i mean i agree that books are our best friends and uh, we should uh, that is where we need to allocate our attention most of the times but i mean this is the era to uh, cultivate our extra curriculars and develop them as well there is a trademark associated with the ca students that they know nothing outside the world of books so i think that all of y'all will agree that networking is really important uh, after and while becoming a chartered accountant so the eliminations took place on the 18th and 19th of june 2022 we are looking forward to the finale now so it's the competition of the best versus the best in debate talent talk hawk and dakshari we have even kept reels and photography this year along with flash mob jamming and much more including a lavish dinner at a mere 118 rupees we are looking forward not only to this one event but also towards making a community of ca students to grow together by engaging in more such events so i request all of you all to encourage your ca articles as well as all the ca students that you know and you might come to know and attend this year's finale attending this year's finale can urge to participate and even volunteer for the next year witness the finale of one of the coolest platforms to showcase your talent on saturday 25th june at kc college auditorium i'll be sharing the registration link on the chat box thank you so much wonderful so thank you siddhi i think that was a uh, you know a wonderful and a dhamakedar introduction to one of the best events which we have uh, and which is organized by the bcas uh, so we look forward to you and your team putting up a wonderful show along with the other participants uh, so uh, for everyone who's on this call i think uh, please do join in in large numbers uh, with your article students and uh, with with uh, you know everyone around you Uh, it it could be a very good show and i think uh, it has you know showcased many a times wonderful talents across the world so uh, yeah so look forward to it this event it begins at 3 p 3:30 yeah it, it begins, begins at 3:30 3 pm correct okay. how many of you already know some ca students we have kk with us yeah yeah hi uh, is kk around yes okay i think he's still connecting to the audio maybe
I think you can begin. I think you can begin. Okay, fine. So he's not uh, there. He's not there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Gracie. So um, and uh, yeah, thank you, Siddhi, once again for that wonderful introduction to the event. Uh, yeah. So I think today's session we look forward to C A Rajni Shagarwal. Uh, he has been a practicing chartered accountant for more than forty years. Uh, he stood first in in, in BCom in nineteen seventy nine from Saint Xavier's College. Uh, and and uh, you know got the honors degree in Calcutta University. Uh, he was an honorary professor at the Saint Xavier's College, Kolkata, and has been a regular speaker at most of their professional seminars and events. Uh, he he qualified for admission to the National Defence Academy in 1975, uh, but due to you know some uh, requirements in the bodily structures, uh, he was not uh, you know admitted for for uh, the Indian Air Force. He has always been uh, very curious about the nature, modern science, and diversity of subjects. Uh, way back, he had suffered from a chronic cold uh, since his early childhood, and uh, he tried various treatments without any success. Uh, ultimately, he turned to homeopathy, uh, which came to his rescue, and then he took, started taking a very keen interest on the subject. uh later this hobby was instrumental in saving his life in 2016 uh when he was bestowed with a new life by homeopathy so now he has set up a uh, you know a very well renowned foundation uh with a dream to make the benefits of homeopathy available to one and all so with this uh you know i hand the stage over to rajneesh uh, welcome rajneesh to this platform and we all look forward to kind of uh, you know gaining a good uh, session from all of you Thank you, Ryan. It's my pleasure to, for the first time, speak on the BCA platform. I have been a life member for forty years and learnt from BCA all the time, and always wanted to be able to do something for BCA. It started in the month of April. There was a VP coming from. Uh, Mr. Uh, <clears throat> our Vice President, Mr. Sit, and I remember fifteenth of April when I read that. I kept on reading it again and again, again and again. Meher uh, Bhai, then I kind of, I didn't know him. I just wrote to him a one line, and then we got talking, and then he took the initiative. that i could uh, you know possibly he shared some of his life experiences a near death experience in among his uh, relatives and he saw that i have been through a near death experience and you know he was very uh, nice to kind of connect me to all of you and that is how i got talking and uh, we are here today before i begin the subject of homeopathy i would like to you know spend 2 minutes to say a universal prayer prayer for universal well being my sister manjula maheshwari who is very very uh, you know the pillar of my foundation and we have launched upon a lifetime initiative to be able to reach out to the poorest in the society and make a difference in their life by bringing in the right cure and the right treatment at virtually no cost so i'm inviting her to for 2 minutes so that we can pray and then begin <clears throat> good evening everyone o सहना सहनो भुन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिदिशावह शांति शांति ही 
friends, I have been through our near-death experience. We all must have heard of many tales and many stories. But once you go through it, there is no confusion left in your mind. I've come across many such tales now with the technology and the internet. You could look up, you know, there's a lady called Anita Murjani in Hong Kong. She went through that experience. I have listened to her video 10 times. The other day I was listening to a Tricia Barker, a girl in US. She went through the same experience. It basically tells that there is a lot of supernatural phenomena in our life, but in our quest for the material race in today's world, we do not, we, we are not receptive to those signals and we ignore them and we ignore that knowledge. And yet the truth is something very different from what we believe or are made to believe by our environment and the current times. And before I come to homeopathy, I must say that my friends, laughter and physiotherapy had an equally great contribution. Homeopathy was my hobby for 25 years and I gave up on all medical treatments. I was in hospital for 10 months I had 10 surgeries, I was on the wheelchair for a year, I was on a walker for six months, and the doctors had given up on me entirely that there is no medicine that works on me. They have no cure for me, they have to again amputate my leg, and if they again amputate my leg, I will not be able to sustain the whole pressure and I will not survive. Now I have written a home guide, which many of you have downloaded from my website. In due course, I will develop this website to be a source of the truth and the source of the real information, which will guide everybody. And this is, will be all free of cost. And before I begin, I want to say that uh, Intelligence means common sense. And we need to be very curious and we should not put down our curiosity on any subject whatsoever in our life while we pursue our profession and other interests, whatever they may be. I would, uh, I have recently recorded some videos. They are not set yet out on the social media, but I got a small clip on uh, two parts which I will show you in the course. The first part is just a five minute clip which I would like Ryan to play now. Ryan, please. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have the clip, uh, Rajneesh. Uh, oh, Bilal has it. Okay, great. Yes, I'm just playing. जून 2015 में एक छोटे से एक्सीडेंट में मेरे पैर में हेयर लाइन फ्रैक्चर हुआ उसका इलाज करने में के बाद ट्रिपल बाईपास हुआ हार्ट अटैक आया फिर स्किन ग्राफ्टिंग हुआ 6-8 महीने 8-10 ऑपरेशन हुए मेरे दोनों पैर नाकाम हो गए संसार की कोई दवाई मेरे पे काम नहीं कर रही थी कोई एंटीबायोटिक काम नहीं कर रहा था डॉक्टरों ने कहा कि तुम्हारा पैर काटना पड़ेगा एक बार ऑपरेशन थिएटर के बाहर तक ले गए फिर वहां भी वापस आया उन्होंने कहा कि अगर पैर काटेंगे तो दोबारा हार्ट अटैक हो जाएगा तो तुम बचोगे नहीं तो मैंने निर्णय लिया कि मैं से जो साइन कराना है करा लो मैं मॉडर्न दवाइयों को छोड़ के मेरी 25 साल से हॉबी रही है होम्योपैथी और मेरे साथ एक डॉक्टर जुड़े हुए हैं मैंने उनसे कहा कि भाई आप जो करना है आप करिए अब मैं जीऊं या बच, बचूं मुझे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है तो उन्होंने पहले दिन ही कहा कि तुम आना ही मत और मैं तुम्हें दवाई लिख के भेज देता हूं क्योंकि मैं समझता हूं उन दवाइयों को 
और तुम दो साल में पूरा ठीक हो जाओगे और वही हुआ और दोबारा ठीक होने के बाद अब मैंने निश्चय किया कि जो चीज़ को मैंने ज़िंदगी भर एक हॉबी की तरह समझा और जिसका मैंने जादुई अनुभव देखा वो मैं सबको सिखा पाऊं इसके लिए एक संस्था बनाई एक किताब लिखी और एक सेंटर बना रहे हैं और मेरी किताब में मैंने रोज़मर्रा की बीमारी घर बैठे दो चार घंटे में छः घंटे में इंसान खुद बिना किसी खर्चे के बिना कोई डॉक्टर बिना कोई दवाई के कैसे अपने आप को ठीक कर सकता है और ये जादू का कोई कॉस्ट नहीं है क्योंकि होम्योपैथी दवाई एक कुदरत की देन है जिसको कि खाली कुदरत की उसमें ऊर्जा और एनर्जी को हम कैप्चर करते हैं और उस एनर्जी का कोई खर्चा नहीं लगता खाली जो थोड़ी सी मेहनत है उसको कैप्चर करने में उसके सिवा क्योंकि यहाँ कोई लाभ कमाने के जरिए नहीं है तो आज की स्वार्थ की दुनिया जो अपने स्वार्थ के पीछे झूठ के समंदर में डूबी हुई है वहाँ इस सच का मजाक उड़ा के इसको लोगों की सेवा के लिए आगे आने नहीं दिया जाता है क्योंकि ये मीडिया का युग है और मीडिया सब कुछ कंट्रोल करता है लेकिन आज भी यूरोप में 30 परसेंट लोग और हमारे देश में 15 परसेंट लोग होम्योपैथी फॉलो करते हैं और ये बहुत तेज़ी से बढ़ रहा है और वर्ल्ड का ये सेकंड लार्जेस्ट सिस्टम है होम्योपैथी एक नेचर से बनता है ये आयुर्वेद का निचोड़ है वही जड़ी बूटियाँ वही खनिज पदार्थ वही चीज़ों को जब हम होम्योपैथिक सॉल्यूशन में सूक्ष्म एनर्जी को कैप्चर करते हैं तो वही एनर्जी हमारी एनर्जी में जाके हमें ठीक करती है आज का संसार हमें शरीर को पहचानता है मन को नहीं पहचानता लेकिन ये हमारे शास्त्रों में हमेशा से लिखा है कि बीमारी मन से शुरू होती है उसके बाद शरीर में फैलती है लेकिन मन को नापने की तो ना तो कोई साइंस है और ना कोई मशीन है हालांकि साइंस ये समझ पा रहा है कि बहुत सी सूक्ष्म एनर्जीज इस संसार में हैं जिनकी खोज में साइंस जुटा हुआ है बहुत कुछ रोज सामने भी आता है आज चाहे ये लेज़र है चाहे माइक्रोवेव है चाहे ये सेटेलाइट्स हैं कम्युनिकेशन है जो सब इनविजिबल है लेकिन इस प्रकृति की इस ब्रह्मांड की जो इनविजिबल एनर्जीज हैं वो और बहुत सूक्ष्म हैं जिनकी खोज में ये विज्ञान का संसार 20 साल से कोलाइडर में दो लेजर बीम्स को कोलाइड करके मोन्स एंड वो क्वार्क्स को समझने की कोशिश कर रहा है अब उसके आगे कितनी हजारों लाखों सूक्ष्म एनर्जी है वो तो बहुत ही कई युग लगेंगे साइंस को जानने में लेकिन आज हम इतना तकलीफ उठा रहे हैं और भगवान का दिया हुआ ये कुदरत का करिश्मा हमारे हाथों में है जिसे अगर हम एक दफ़े कोशिश करके देखें तो आपको खुद ही प्रमाण दिख जाएगा और कहते हैं कि प्रत्यक्ष को प्रमाण क्या ऑब्वियस नीड्स नो प्रूफ तो मैं आज इन एनर्जीज़ के बारे में ज़्यादा डिटेल में नहीं जाके ये होम्योपैथिक दवाई कैसे बनती है और कैसे काम करती है ये बताना चाहता हूँ great so <laughs> i've just recorded this recently and there is one more video i recorded and we are working on it so the first time and i spoke extempore in one go because it the, it all comes from inside so it all began you know i suffered lifelong with sinus problems from my early childhood and uh, did all kinds of treatments which really hurt me a lot till i started reading about i went to several homeopaths and i started reading about homeopathy but you know these pure natural it's like an occult science they are very difficult to initially fathom in your mind but as i discovered i was able to help so many people with all kind of strange illnesses i had a friend who went all over the world for his treatment 
And two months later, he came back and he says, you know, I am not getting cured. I am getting cough uh, all the time. And I don't know how I asked him that, is your cough beginning after 4 p.m.? And he was stunned and he said, yes. And I said, send your driver, you'll be all right in three days time. And that's what happened. I had a neighbor who at one time in the, was carrying a whole bunch of medicines in the lift. And I said, what happened? He said, my wife is uh, not able to sleep because every time she tries to sleep, she's coughing. I said, uh, why don't you give her a small homeopathic medicine? He said, no, there is, she has no faith. I said, why don't you just give her two drops and ask her to wait for 10 minutes. And if she coughs after that, she can take these medicines, not a problem. It was a case, first was a case of a 4 p.m. cough. This was a case of a lying down cough. You know, I had a, you know, one of my boys who is actually on this call also. One day he's sitting, uh, having headache. And, you know, he's got his one hand on one side of the head and he says, I'm having a headache for three days. I can't, uh, I don't know what to do. I said, it is right-sided headache. You have your hand on the right side. He said, yes. He said, it'll be all right just now in two hours. There's no problem. And I just gave him a homeopathic medicine. It was gone in two hours. And I mean, there are huge number of such cases which I would read and not being a doctor, just out of my hobby and I could solve, see people would get all right. Hernia, you know, sweaty hands. These are things which I did. Then I came across this doctor who actually saved my life now. First time in 2011. And uh, yesterday or day before, I was searching my uh, you know, papers and I saw that uh, his first prescription So one sec, that his first prescription, I found on my records and I'll just take a minute to just show you that prescription and what was the story uh, in 2011 when I met him for the first time. You can see my name here. I was 51 at that time, 17 February, 2011. So he, he saw me and he noted my history on the side, what all I was suffering from hypertension, diabetes. You know, I was having amlodec. I had allergic rhinitis, itching in the cornea of the eyes, nose palate, uh, watering nose, irritation in the throat. I was allergic to sour food and cold food. I used, cold wind used to hit me. I used to have a earache constipation, acidity, I had skin problem, dried thick skin on the back of my hand and elbow. It was like a, you know, for many years I used to suffer. And then he took down all my other details at the back, blackish discoloration of the fa face and <clears throat> this dirty patches on the skin, low back pain, warty face, all these things he noted and he gave me these medicines and then I was like, you know, came out of these problems like magic. And I said, you know, I am only been looking at these things as a hobby. And I used to tell him my stories that, you know, I did this, I did, I gave such and such, such medicine. And so I developed more interest and I saw that a lot of my problems were solved by him. And that is how in this, after suffering for 10 months in the hospital and I could realize that it is not all, just not working out. And I called him to say whether I live or I die, I don't care, you please uh, do whatever is necessary or let it be. So today, before I go further into the uh, nuances of homeopathy, uh, which also I wish to cover a little bit after the, I can walk you through a little on my book. 
uh, I'll share the, it's just a small 40 page book where you have to only read 10, 15 pages. I have written it in three languages, actually in Hindi and Bengali, because my target is to reach the poor who are suffering the most. And they have nothing to you know, help them. My book discusses 21 medicines and I will go back and tell you a very few, two, three, two, three selected symptoms of each of those common everyday medicines. But this is what I want to show you that from where, how these medicines are made. So it is like the first medicine we have covered is on the, on this page. Uh, <coughs> I think page 30 of the book. And uh, all of these plants are well discussed in Ayurveda. I have books on Ayurveda, which I have read and I've looked at their cross properties, how they are described in Ayurveda. And these are all hobbies. Huh? Aconite nitum is a plant. We'll go back to the medicine description. Allium sepa is made from onions. Aloe sock, you are all aware of aloe vera. It is a variety of aloe vera. There is apis smell, which is made from the venom of the honey bee. Arnica, many people have heard, it's made from a flower, arnica flower. There is white oxide of arsenic, we'll talk a little bit about. It's been a, become a very universal medicine in the last two years. There is belladonna. Belladonna actually means a dancing ballet in the European ballets. They used to, when they used to go for a ballet dance, they would chew these berries for their eyes to sparkle. That is how the name came. Bryonia. There is calendula flower. Many of you have heard of calendula as a skin uh, cure. We have cantharis. Again, this is a, a Spanish fly venom. Carbo wedge is made from wood charcoal. Chamomile is like a you know, boon for the children and you know, small children from their birth. It really supports them in every way. Gelsemium is a yellow jasmine flower. Hypericum is a flower. Epica is a flower plant. Then we have Calibichrome. We have Merxol, which is mercury. We have uh, Nux vomica, which is like a poisonous nut. In the pure form, it's poisonous. But the moment you dilute, it's like a real miracle. So Rustox, again a plant, a shrub, Robinia, Ruta. So these 21 medicines, we'll talk very shortly today so that you get a start on these things. And these are some of the things I have really learned a lot from. Here is a book, Materia Medica, which is actually a college textbook. And there is this about secret life of water, how water you know, captures all our thoughts, written by a Japanese. This is our book cover. And before I, st I want to show you that we visited a factory, a homeopathic factory, where they bring all these things from the forests and they sort, it, sort them, they dilute them in alcohol for a month to capture their molecular imprint. Then they filter them and then they purify and they pack. And then this mother tinctures are diluted and diluted and diluted and how they become more and more powerful. So friends, uh, because I know in today's world, we all are want to know the solutions more than the how and why of it. So we'll come to the solution immediately. Uh, and I want to take you to uh, So in this 40 page book, we have looked at the last few pages. On page 17, I compiled this list as to what are these various uh, spices and herbs we use in our kitchen. 
what are their english names what are their homeopathic names what are their botanical names we use them but we do not realize that a tulsi is called osimum or neem is called azarikta indica or you know hing is called asafoetida but then unless we have a little bit of a connectivity we always find that oh these things are too complicated you know dalchini cinnamon and they are all very very you know standard homeopathic medicines once they are diluted in alcohol and captured uh, their molecular memory is captured so today's focus is to talk on 21 medicines for which i created a home kit i have already distributed 500 kits to various people these kits last you for 10 years and they don't cost you anything i mean each of these medicine will cost you 50 rupees or maximum and you can cure 50 people with those 50 rupees and the shelf life is 100 years and if you sorry 10 years and if you keep that at home they will just come handy in any uh, emergency and simply by reading the book and lot of people are now connecting and learning and helping themselves and you can see i put here you know which which is a plant animal mineral what is the source of this medicines which plant which animal which mineral i have put on the site and these 330 200 is the dilution 200 means diluted 200 times 30 is diluted 30 times in homeopathy the principle is less is more more you dilute the more powerful it becomes and there is really no material cost material cost is negligible it is just the labor and effort to dilute and then to reach it to you so this 21 uh, medicines which we which i showed you the pictures i want to walk I want to uh, walk through them help you walk through them in very short first is this aconite we saw a blue colored flower which was the first picture you know in the dry cold wind weather of calcutta i had cured many many people with simply few pills or a few drops because the moment the dry cold wind starts during the month of november to december january february they really catch your head and you know you come down with a cold and a fever and a headache if you take aconite you are fine the very same day or the next day it is that powerful because you know weather changes suddenly you are out and you know the winds have started and you are hit and by the time you reach home you are like not keeping well you have aconite you've taken two drops maybe two three times you are done with it then aconite has a great you know uh, efficacy on you see the sudden fear i'm using the word here sudden fear the sudden fear happens i have seen many cases you suddenly got a news about something going wrong somewhere in your business or in your family and the emotion is that of fear and you feel that on hearing the news you have collapsed the if you have aconite on hand you take two drops two three times at half, half an hour interval and you will your energy will be restored and i will explain how this energy mechanism works later so this is a great medicine for sudden shock and fear it's a great medicine for birth shocks for the newborn babies similarly the next one is alium sepa you know we saw the onion picture there the a particular variety of red onion its molecular memory is diluted and this medicine is made and this is the combination here sneezing watering nose and eyes the moment you have these three combinations it is as if when you are cutting onions your eyes are watering and your nose is watering and you get sneezing so there is a type of cold which you get when these symptoms are appearing together you take an you take alium sepa 2 3 4 times you see the results by the same evening and you are out of the problem third one is again very interesting aloe sock made from a, again a variety of aloe vera you see in nature all these things have many many varieties and a particular variety has a much more powerful effect on us now the aloe sock is a medicine people you know they 
all of us by anybody sometimes we suffer with a stomach stomach disorder in the lower stomach which is very noisy there is a gas and there is a stool mixed up and moving and when we go to the toilet the stool and the gas is mixed up and we are not able to by the time you get the urge to go to the toilet you cannot control and it comes out and it, you feel that you know something is really gone wrong with me you take aloe soak three four times the same day you will be cured and i have done this with so many people next is apis smell which is done with the help from the venom of the honey bee typically they use a queen honey bee so you know if the honey bee will sting you you will have a burning swelling stinging pain and sometime or the other you get you know people get stung with some unknown insects who have certain poisons you know it's rainy season or you are out in the you know garden and your foot typically you will find it stuck on your toe or some you know insect came and bit you and it has all got swollen if you have a piss smell around you take it three four times you see the burning gone stinging gone swelling gone and it also works well for the you know swelling puffing under the eyes the next one is uh, arnica arnica is like lot of you have heard about arnica because it is the boon for injury uh, it says physical or emotional injury and trauma so what happens is that, you know the injury is one trauma is another one of my boys had came to my office and you know he was traveling in a in i think some kind of an open jeep and when i looked at his face he came with a red face and trauma and he said i said what happened he said this this happened i said no you just go and take arnica sleep at home you will be all right in two three days time what happens with arnica is that when you are injured your blood vessels they are damaged and the flow of the blood blocks and that is why you get swelling and if you start taking arnica on time it will repair those blood vessels very quickly and you your that area will there will be no more clotting of the blood there will be no more swelling and there will be a very quick recovery of the whole uh, situation sudden fatigue for some reason you are feeling that you are dead. i mean there is just no energy you were doing all right and suddenly you have no energy left you are like totally beaten up kind of a feeling arnica will help and before and after surgery it relieves pain i'm aware of a friend of mine who was like uh, operated for his heart in the us by the most famous surgeon and even in that new york hospital he came back and i said he gave me arnica before and after the surgery arnica 1000 now there are if you go to the google and type you will get millions and millions on of hits and information about all of these i have just selected two three day to day common symptoms for a home guidance of everybody this is a very very you know selected a short description here the next one is arsenic album which you know has become very famous in the last two years of uh, so called corona which i have never believed in so <clears throat> in fact on 21st of march of uh, 2020 i went to my homeopath shop and i picked up all his stock of arsenic album 30 large bottles about 100 or 200 he had and i went to home house to house and distributed them i said please give two drops each to everybody in your house and to those your friends and neighbors nothing will happen don't worry the arsenic is like you know it is a it acts on your soft mucus tissue from mouth till the stool just like uh, you know later on about in the late april government of india came up and gave some guidelines about you know using arsenic album as a medicine in our day to day requirement we use it for food poisoning 
if you ever feel there is a food poisoning, how do we check that you, there is a food poisoning? Typically in food poisoning, there will be a vomiting and loose motion together. Again, there will be other, you know, four people have had the food, three are all right, one fellow has fallen sick. So that may not be a food poisoning case. And it could be in some cases also. But if you ever have a symptom of nausea, vomiting and loose motions together, we know it is a case of food poisoning. And if you start having arsenic album 30 every two hours, two drops, the same day your food poisoning will disappear. We every day hear the news of, you know, children in the school fell sick because of food poisoning. If those children are given arsenic album 30, in two to three hour interval, two, three times, they'll all be running back into the plate field and it'll all go away. And I have seen this happen not once, but many, many times. Then there is a running nose where your nose is just flowing and flowing and flowing. Uh, arsenic album will stop. Chill feeling, yes. This is again where you are doing all right and suddenly you are shivering. There is a, suddenly you are shivering. Recently, my sister, was traveling and she called me from the hotel and he said, you know, this is what's happening. I said, just take our snake album, you'll be all right in half an hour. This fourth one is very interesting. You know, you will come across a person, he wants to drink water, but small sips of water, not let go of the bottle, keep the bottle, go on having two sips, two sips, two sips, two sips. Non-stop desire to go on sipping water, not gulping. It's a very typical arsenic album symptom. You give arsenic album, the problem will be solved the same day or the next day. It doesn't take very long. Next is belladonna. <clears throat> Again, you may, many of you have heard. I spoke to you about the belladonna <clears throat> in history. The biggest use of belladonna is in tonsils. You have swollen and swelling and pain in your throat, with or without earache, you cannot gulp food. The children earlier, in, I remember we were growing up every time tonsils, oh, it's a small operation, just get it removed. But nothing doing, you give belladonna, the tonsil will disappear in a day or two. And I have come across people who are suffering with this throat problem for a long time. And I said, look, I'll challenge you, I'll cure you in two, three days time. Just take the, the, there's one more medicine, which I prescribe depending on the situation. And just between these two, you are out in, and the very second day they start saying that, you know, we are better. I said, you are out on the third or the fourth day. You have suffered for so many days. Belladonna, <clears throat> air sickness. Some people, you know, fall, you know, feel very ill in the aeroplane. It helps them, movement sickness. High fever due to exposure to cold with no thirst. Uh, exposure to cold, exposure to heat. You know, you are not used to being out in the sun and you have been in the sun and you come back and you fall sick. You did not carry enough balloons and you were out and there was no way you could cover yourself up and you were exposed to the cold. And you came back and you got fever. You will... Take belladonna, you will see the effect, your fever will go down the same day. And this is a throbbing headache. Now, the, again, there are varieties of headache and the, just after two pages, I will explain to you the differentiation. <clears throat> Next is bryonia. I'll try to see, maybe I'll cover about 11 now. Then we'll go to the next page. We'll talk about a few other things. And then, <coughs> time permitting, I will cover the remaining 10 also. Bryonia is something we are using all the time. One of the symptoms, you see here, thirsty drinks huge quantity of water. Where What was in arsenic? Very thirsty, but taking small sips of water constantly. Now, this is a different type of a symptom. You are, you want to go on drinking water, your stomach will burst, but your thirst is not going. You don't know what to do. The brainia will sort it out in just no time, the same day. Huh? Calcutta weather when days are hot and nights are cold. During the change of season, you know, the differential is high. The day becomes very hot and the night suddenly becomes very cold. 
So you went to sleep with the fan on or the window open and in the night you got exposure to the cold outside. You woke up with a very heavy body and a headache and you have to, you don't know what to do. You said, you know, very sick. You don't want to even stand up. You are so down. You take Brianya instantly, take two, three times and you see you are back to work the very same morning. It will not take too long. In the, the way to judge Brainia is that if I'm standing up, I want to sit down. If I want to sit down, I want to lie down. If I lie down, my body feels very heavy. It's a very typical Brainia syndrome. The, the movement, I just uh, aggravation on movement, desire to lie down, sinking in the mattress. It's all how you feel makes it, you know, the. <clears throat> <clears throat> decides what should be done. Splitting frontal headache and fever early morning often due to constipation. These are some of the very typical Brianna symptoms that we identify and immediately give medicine and the person is, you know, cured the same day. Then we have calendula, it's a marigold flower. Calendula is the homeopathic antiseptic for cuts, for injuries, for skin bruises. You know, you are familiar with calendula cream, but you know, calendula as a medicine, I remember I, if I had, earlier I used to shave and if I had a cut, I would just put a little calendula tincture and it will disappear in five minutes, 10 minutes. If you are injured, you use calendula cream or just take calendula 30 a few times. The biggest uh, feature of calendula, which I came across recently, I went to the dentist and they want you to have antibiotics before the surgery, after the surgery, and they will insist that, you know, otherwise we don't feel safe. So I said, fine. Came back home and took calendula 33 for two, three days, whatever they wanted. Went and did my treatment, came back and took calendula another two days. End of the matter, there's no need to, for, was, I did not take any antibiotic for my dental treatment because I knew the effect of candula is, calendula is like magic. <clears throat> Next is cantharis. This is the Spanish fly venom. Again, in high dilution, these work like wonders. Total black magic, I would say. You know, anybody is burnt, burns by fire, sunlight, boiling water, scars. Start having cantharis, it will just disappear. The normal skin will restore, nothing will happen. <clears throat> Burning and difficult urination, cantharis is a boon. And look, for a day to day problem, so many people call me, even I just tell them, just take this, you know, or you just get this and take it, you'll be all right. Burning sensation anywhere, blisters. They are the cantharis, uh, cured by cantharis. <clears throat> now, many of you are familiar with the carbo wedge. Some people have heard, nowadays there's a lot of advertisement in the media, activated charcoal. Mm -hmm. So I said, wow, wonderful. This seems like a real new innovation. Carbo wedge is nothing but wood charcoal, dilution made from wood charcoal. And it is a, in some situations, it is a life saving medicine, I tell you. Carbo wedge is the, pro the problem of the upper stomach, above the navel. You have burping, you have heaviness, you have uh, you've eaten your breakfast, the food has not gone down but you are hungry for lunch and you don't know what to do, you take carbo wedge, the food will go down. You have undigested food in your stool. You know, you had carrots and beans and peas and they're like, you know, you feel like what's going wrong with me, my stool has, all, all these vegetables are visible. You take carbo wedge, two, three days, it will all sort out. <clears throat> so, fundamentally, gas and belching and you know, the, the, some of this, there are many other things they work on, many, many things they work on, but these are the main day-to-day -day, uh, symptoms we use carbo for. Let me just uh, go through this uh,
quickly the remaining 10 we are at 7 30 <clears throat> so i think by 7 20 i can do this and come to the next part chamomile you will see teething whining crying this is for the children children and infant medicine i remember my friend's uh, you know, grandson in dubai the pediatrician is prescribing him chamomile because now they don't have an answer to so many things and they know that nature, this chamomile flower has a huge curative property. Similarly, we have uh, next one is this yellow jasmine. I showed you the picture. Gelsemium is a great medicine for the, you know, so many flus. Before I get into the flu, I think there was exposure here. <clears throat> I am sharing the screen. You will have a headache on your around your temples. Head will feel tied with a band. Occip occipital headache in orbits, pain in lower neck and shoulders and backbone. It's a typical flu which is hurting your back, specifically the junction of the back and the shoulders. And you say, suddenly what happened? Your eyelids are heavy. You feel totally down. Gelsemium will set you right again in one or two days. Doesn't take very long to cure. It's a great blessing. And yeah, I was saying heat stroke. So you were in the like, you know, too much out in the sun and you got a heat stroke. You will have these symptoms due to heat stroke and gelsemium will cure it. And again, I repeat all of these you know, the best medicines, 10 ml bottles or 30 ml bottles are available all over everywhere in India for 50 rupees or 100 rupees. You can create your own kit. We can arrange to ship the kits. Uh, we can arrange to ship the books. Because I, once I have survived with this subject, I want to reach out to everybody and tell them that, listen, please do try and see for yourself. Not that I am saying it, and it needs no effort. It is so quick, so easy to take and so quick to cure that nothing can be better than this. And no side effects, no toxicity, no continued suffering, no suppression of disease, uh, you know, causing, pushing your body, you know, developing deeper illnesses. All those things are, you know, avoided. But this is now... Hypericum, I call it the crushed finger medicine. If anybody, the wind comes and the, you know, the door is suddenly shut or the window is shut and your finger is crushed, Hypericum will restore all the nerves of your finger in a week to two weeks, which, depending on the <clears throat> degree of injury. It's total blessing for the nerves. You know, we've cured women who have had it, you know, during childbirth, they have heard their coccyx. And because in the coccyx, there are too many nerves. You give them hypericum for a period of time and they're fully cured from their injury, you know, which, is, which remains inside and hurts for a long time. Similarly, blow on the head, causing convulsions. Because there are too many nerves in the head. Hypericum just goes and energizes your nerves and cures a nerve injury. Nerve pain. <clears throat> so there are many aged people I'm working with and you know, we're seeing that their real, their nerve pain at an old age is relieved by hypericum. Of course, those I do with my, with the help guidance of my doctor. Uh, this 15 is again a wonder medicine. This is like a very strange symptom you have headache, fever, and nausea. And the nausea is like there is a vomiting sensation which is not gone for two, three days now. You say, I don't know what's wrong with me. I came across somebody said, you know, my daughter is you know really not suffering a lot. I said, what happened? I said, oh, she's just having this nausea for two, three days. Without asking, I said, go give her this Epica 30. She'll be all right in one or two days. After three days, she comes back and said, you know, uh, what had happened? 
I said, no, she is in school, high school. She, you know, children must go up and play in the cold air outside. So she has been hurt by the cold winds leading to nausea. Because in today's world, they don't even believe these things that the cold wind could cause nausea and fever and headache. So this combination, Epica, we use it quite often because this is a very normal day-to-day -day phenomenon. Next is this calibichrome. <clears throat> Again, there are the best use of calibichrome I have found. You are all right during the day, even if you've caught a cold and you have a running nose, it's no problem. The moment you go to sleep, you start coughing, 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 and you cannot go to sleep because you are coughing all night. <clears throat> the because of internal laser drip causing severe cough at night. The, the moment you take, start taking calibichrome, the inward flow of mucus is reversed and it flows out. The mucus will not go into the throat. It will start flowing out. It will reverse the direction. It will come out. Even the tough stringy mucus will come out. The ear aches will go away. The ear ache, we have to understand the combination between you know, belladonna and calibichrome what kind of a combination symptoms are there. So <clears throat> small children, they don't even know what is wrong with them. And you by simple question, one or two questions, you can figure out, oh, oh okay, this kid is having this uh, Kelly Bikram symptoms. Just give him, he'll sleep all right the same day, not an issue. Next is mercury, Merck Sol, again, a wonder medicine. Mercury in its pure form can kill You've all seen that the thermometer has mercury and you're not supposed to touch. It is very, very toxic <coughs> because it will simply burn the mucous mem uh, membrane of our body. But the moment you dilute it into the homeopathic medicine, where the, in all of these medicines, these are invisible medicines. The modern science says they are all a placebo, they are all alcohol, they are all sugar pills. We can't see anything. But you can see the result in front of you. And if you can't see, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And then when you are purifying it to that level, it is like a blessing for us. You, know, you will see here three things only I have noticed. Amoebiasis, you know, gripping pain around the navel. What typically happens is you know, you've had an infection for a while and it's gone around the navel and you are having pain around the navel, you'll have to take Merxol, it will go away in two, three days. There is blood in the school stool because your mucous membrane is, you know, not keeping up. It's cracking up somewhere. There is recurrent mouth ulcers. Again, your mucous membrane is not holding up. It's cracking, so you're getting mouth ulcers. Merxol comes as a, you know, just like a put on your desk, if you can figure it out, you take it, or even if you try it out for a day or two, doesn't matter, it will do you no harm. The homeopathic medicines will do you no harm. Then we spoke of, uh, we, you saw the poison nut, the plant of uh, Nux vomica. Nux vomica, I want to uh, <clears throat> say that this is like, you know, the one is that it is an antidote to allopathic medicines and also to alcohol. And the other thing is that, you know, indigestion due to late nights, ill effects of modern lifestyle, constipation and diarrhea alternately, nausea, vomiting due to irregular food timings. Now, <clears throat> what happens is that our body has a clock which kind of adjusts you the, to the routine that you follow. And at that particular time, it will release the digestive juices in my system. And if we do not eat that time, those acids, digestive acids and juices are not absorbed and they remain in my system, you know, and therefore they start hurting my systems. So if we eat again at a different time, our whole GI system goes for a toss. So you will have loose motion, you will have constipation, you'll have stomach aches. So you immediately analyze it, whether it is arsenic album, is it my food poisoning or is it my, uh, you know, carbo veg, my upper stomach problem. 
or is it my lower stomach regurgitating and i cannot control my you know stool or is it that i am eating food after half an hour and getting pain or is it that i am going six times to the toilet and it is always unfinished all these things you will realize nux vomica will come like a total miracle medicine and you know when i talk to my friends who are my age and they all say you know my parents used to do this my uncle used to do this there were so many elders in their families <coughs> who had read up and understood and enjoyed the benefits of homeopathy and they gave help themselves and those around them but the next generation and the generation after that has gone totally been brainwashed by the modern media for profit so they uh, are totally disconnected with nature they kind of uh, make fun of nature that oh this is all backward and this doesn't work whereas i can tell you that modern medicine which is totally synthetic is totally anti nature and i will explain that to you if we have a time at the end so we have rust tox you should look at robinia is acidity now rust tox and ruta we should look at them together rust tox you should look at start from the muscle and ruta you should start from the bone now between our muscle and the bone there are four five different five six different components you know you have the muscle ligament and tendon and then you have the <coughs> ligament bone and cartilage <coughs> cartilage are the bone to bone connectors so you know, you, were, you suddenly slipped and you fell down and you have your whole system is like hurt very badly now if you think that you know there is an injury in the soft tissue which will lead to blood clotting you need arnica immediately for relief for a day or two so that there is no swelling no clotting but the pain will not go away the, the pain the muscles will be repaired by rustox and the bones will be repaired by ruta what happens is they you know accidentally if your hand hits a wall or something or a door handle you find that that area keeps hurt pains for quite some time maybe even for a month if you take ruta it will just go and heal the surface in no time three four days you don't know where the pain was now other coming back to rustox i have to compare this with bryonia we spoke about that you don't want to get up you want to if you are standing you want to sit down if you are sitting you want to lie down if you are lying down you think you are sinking in the bed it's a heavy body no desire to move but if you still have body ache headache muscular pain but you feel better on movement you feel i i have written this better in the evening because many people i am not you know i have all this problem i ask them you know is it worse in the evening or better in the evening now that one answer tells me that whether it is rustox or whether it is brand and rustox is also good for sudden change from heat to cold we are like coming out from the sun and we all get into the air condition and run the fan and suddenly you fall sick and rustox comes very handy i have you know help people with tennis elbow will go away with rustox all kinds of injuries it repairs so with this uh, i want to now just cover one page more where i want to show how the medicines are selected here what i have tried is you will say oh in 21 medicine everything works on fever everything works on cold now how do i decide i am so confused so i have created a short table here that for fear when the prime problem is fever headache and body ache how do we look at different variation and choose what is the closest i feel and which medicine i should take and here i have added one or two extra which are not uh, discussed in the earlier part or not a part of my home kit because they are very commonly required similarly in the cold i have put it down running nose headache fever exposure to dry clothes violent sneezing the onion symptoms alien sepa running nose only arsenic album 
swollen tonsils and pain on swallow, swallowing and earache belladonna tough stringy mucus telebicrom yellow mucus again these are not discussed yellow mucus is typically pulsatilla and watering eyes sometimes you know you'll see the what eyes are watering because my my entire this uh, <coughs> mucus system is so choked that the cold is flowing through my eyes and if you can you know identify and take the right medicine you will feel good the same day or the next day it doesn't take time i will again you know explain to you this a little bit more <clears throat> so i think uh, in the interest of time i want to now you have got a little you know outline flavor of what uh, homeopathy is this is made from these plants and flowers and minerals and this is how the, some of the select symptoms for them this is like uh, how i will choose these medicines for my stomach for my injury for the children and for some other common problems oh, and uh, i have described here how the dosage is to be decided taken less is more means the more you dilute the more powerful it becomes and here i have given a few guidelines as to how to decide how many drops how many pills how many times a day which dilution for how long and what are the common precautions to be kept while taking these medicines again a very simple short explanation but the <clears throat> issue is that uh, today we are in a very quick fix era where we want to get well but we really don't want to know how it happens not many people are interested to know how it happens in fact the instructions of everything are so complex that we are in fact paranoid to even look at them but then i feel that knowing and believing are two different worlds and i was recently you know uh, not recently to three of the senior most uh, you know council in calcutta i was sitting with him and talking to him on a sunday for two hours and suddenly he came up and said he said you know rajneesh everybody in my house is thinking that we are having a very big legal conference i said yes sir I said but we did not talk law even for a moment i said no sir and then he said to me listen they believe you and i know so believing could be completely opposite of the knowledge and we should try to gather some knowledge so that not only we learn we can also you know <clears throat> spread that knowledge to the people around us there is a again a one more small video which again is not edited i just got the first cut this afternoon and i have requested uh, <clears throat> bilal to share it we'll play it for short and i will explain to you a little bit about the energies uh, and there are other beyond the simple dynamic energy there are so many dimensions of life which we simply do not uh, sort of become aware of today is not the time for that you know during my <clears throat> hospitalization and surgeries i was in coma for 7 days i have uh, i didn't know whether i'll come back to life and i remember all my dreams during my coma you know all kinds of uh, you know different phenomena which uh, is kind of not believed by people that easily but then i know that they are all true our all our occult sciences our ancient sciences are all true all that is missing today is a pure and a selfless heart and the selfless soul and the selfless effort because the true knowledge will stay with us only if we will be selfless the moment there is a motive inside the knowledge will be there but it will not be visible this is my experience more so in the last few years bilal can we play the 6 minute video please kuch kaata hoga sure sir yeah thank you <clears throat> जल की बात करते हैं 
तो प्राचीन काल से सभी सभ्यताओं और सभी मान्यताओं में जो भी त्योहार मनाए जाते हैं जो भी रिचुअल्स फॉलो किए जाते हैं जो कि सब सूर्य और चंद्र और ग्रहों की स्थिति से निर्धारित होते हैं तो ये जानना जरूरी है कि इतने विशाल पृथ्वी पर इतने विशाल समुद्र में जो लहरें उठती हैं, उसमें सबसे बड़ा योगदान चंद्रमा के मूवमेंट का है चंद्र और सूरज की जो गुरुत्वाकर्षण है उससे ये लहरें समय समय पर अलग अलग एनर्जी के साथ उठती और गिरती हैं तो एक चंद्रमा और एक सूरज अगर इतने बड़े समुद्र में इतनी बड़ी लहरें पैदा कर सकता है तो हमारे शरीर में जो 70 परसेंट पानी है इसमें भी उसी तरह से हर समय लहरें उठती हैं इसीलिए सभी मान्यताएं कहती हैं कि भाई आज अमावस्या है आज पूर्णिमा है आज ये करना है ये नहीं करना है आज ग्रहण है दिन में 12 बजे के बाद ये नहीं करना चाहिए 4 बजे उठना चाहिए संध्या काल में क्या करना चाहिए सारी इस ब्रह्मांड की एनर्जी जो हमारी पृथ्वी पे जल जो जीवन है उस पे जो लहरें पैदा करती हैं उन लहरों का हमारे पे जो असर होता है हमारे हमारी आत्मा हमारे मन हमारे शरीर पर उन पर निर्धारित है अब कुछ कुछ झलक विज्ञान को मिलने लगी है लेकिन अभी बहुत लंबा रास्ता बाकी है यही जो भगवान ब्रह्मांड की शक्ति है यही जो जल की शक्ति है जो प्रकृति में हर पदार्थ में सम्मिलित है उसी शक्ति को हम होम्योपैथिक सोल्यूशन में कैप्चर करते हैं इन्हें अक्सर जड़ी बूटियों को फूलों को कुछ पेड़ों की लकड़ी को एक महीना अल्कोहल में डुबा के रोज हिलाया जाता है कि वो प्रकृति की शक्ति का कुछ छाप उस अल्कोहल में छा जाती है और उसको फिल्टर करते हैं फिल्टर करके टेस्ट करते हैं दवाई तैयार हो जाती है और ये ऐसा विषय है जहां आप उसको जितना ज्यादा डाइल्यूट करेंगे उतनी उसकी शक्ति बढ़ जाती है अगर होम्योपैथी में पावर जीरो है तो उसको डाइल्यूट नहीं किया गया और पावर अगर थर्टी है तो उसको तीस बार डाइल्यूट किया गया है वो इतनी कम कर देते हैं और उसकी पावर उतनी बढ़ती चली जाती है दो सौ हजार दस हजार जितनी बार डाइल्यूट करेंगे उतनी ही वो शक्ति जो है सूक्ष्म होके हमारे शरीर की एनर्जी में बहुत गहराई में जाके हल्की सी तरंगे पैदा करती है और उन तरंगों से ही हमारा उपचार हो जाता है कहीं कोई दूसरा साइड इफेक्ट की जगह नहीं रहती आप आयुर्वेद में जो काढ़ा बनाएंगे आधा आधा घंटा जल को उबालेंगे उसमें बहुत चीजों को डाल के वही चीज होम्योपैथिक सोल्यूशन में कैप्चर्ड है दो बूंद जीन में लेते ही वो आपकी एनर्जी में चली जाएगी और आपको ठीक करेगी जबकि आप काढ़ा पियेंगे पेट में जाएगा आंतड़ियों में जाएगा फिर वहाँ से हमारे लिवर से होके हमारे खून में जाएगा फिर धीरे धीरे ऊपर से काम करेगा लेकिन उसी शक्ति को जब ये होम्योपैथिक सोल्यूशन में कैप्चर करते हैं तो बहुत ही जल्दी और बिना किसी वेस्ट के क्योंकि आयुर्वेद में तो आखिर हमें हजम करना पड़ेगा जो भी हम खाते हैं तो वो हजम करने के लिए बहुत नियम है कि ये गरम करेगा ये ठंडा करेगा इसको ऐसे समय से खाना है इसको ऐसे पकाना है बहुत सारे नियम हैं जड़ी बूटियों में तो यहाँ तक के ऐतिहासिक नियम है कि जब पुराने समय में आपने रामायण में भी संजीवनी बूटी का एपिसोड देखा होगा की वैद को जाके वृक्ष से प्रार्थना करके जड़ी बूटी जड़ी बूटी को लेने के लिए अनुमति मांगनी होती थी बिना वृक्ष की अनुमति के वो जड़ी बूटी काम नहीं करती थी 
और यहाँ तक नियम थे कि कौन सी जड़ी बूटी किस समय में चंद्रमा के किस समय में रात के किस समय में उसको तोड़ा जाएगा तो उस समय उसके अंदर वो शक्तियाँ प्रबल हैं और वही प्रबल शक्तियाँ हमारे अंदर जाके प्रबल काम करती थी लेकिन आज के दिन ये विद्या का ज्ञान बहुत घट गया है और इस विद्या के लिए जितनी मेहनत है और उसका जितना कॉस्ट है वो संभव नहीं है इंसान को नसीब नहीं हो पाता है लेकिन वही आयुर्वेद की वही जड़ी बूटियां वही खनिज जब होम्योपैथी में कैप्चर किए जाते हैं आप मान लीजिए एक ग्राम सोना है एक ग्राम सोने का अगर हम मोलिकुलर मेमोरी एनर्जी को कैप्चर करते हैं और कैप्चर करके उसको जितना डाइल्यूट करते हैं तो वो उतनी पावरफुल होती चली जाती है तो सोने का कॉस्ट तो कुछ रहा ही नहीं आप कहीं भी होम्योपैथिक शॉप में जाएंगे और हम मेटेलिकम विच इज मेड फ्रॉम गोल्ड सिमिलरली देर इज सिल्वर मेटेलिकम मेड फ्रॉम सिल्वर इज कॉल्ड अर्जेंटम ऑल्सो सिमिलरली देर इज क्यूप्रम मेटेलिकम इज कॉपर प्लम्बम मेटेलिकम सो द वेरी सेम मिनरल मॉलिकुलर इम्प्रिंट इज कैप्चर्ड इन दीज हाई डायल्यूशन वेर द कॉस्ट ऑफ द मिनरल इज नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट एंड द क्योर इज मोर एंड मोर पावरफुल uh back to me <clears throat> the or the voice was a little cracking in that video bilal but doesn't matter we are working on it and getting it all uh, <clears throat> edited and re, you know, set right one of the very renowned colleges here their media department faculty and students are working on these videos really to help my cause uh, before i go further uh, from this video i want to just take up a few questions that have been raised so far and uh, <clears throat> which are in the chat box uh, first is from cadc garg he wanted my contact number i have put it on the chat box below my email id and number is also on my book which can be downloaded from my website and all the information is available there and i am available to guide you and to help you in the best possible manner then there is a from mr junjun wala welcome from sejal sir can a diabetic take homeopathic medicines to treat other suffering certainly there is a, you know your diabetic medicine can continue and that you know condition become it develops over a very long time and becomes chronic but your other things like arthritis and piles can be solved and we i see this happening as of today i am personally engaged in you know seeing patients with my doctor or at my house almost a thousand people and i am building this center which should be ready you know hopefully totally functional within a year's time where we will have full time facility and we will train these doctors to be available for the society and to give them the right guidance and i i also hope that half the time i want to provide almost free service 100 200 rupees to the poor and the needy who have no other place to go uh, ankit dalal what is the name of the book the you know it's not it's a complimentary book i have not kept any price i have not kept any copyright because my idea is to reach the highest number and it can be downloaded from my website kevalsamarpan.com uh, somebody has replied you may be not sure uh, the recording link so how many doses in a day is recommended uh, rajiv mahajan and um, and at minimum how much time does every dose of homeopathy overdose is harmful how we decide the power you will see that my you know dosage i uh, walked you through that page in the in my book which explains to you the how the doses are decided we as a person who uses at a hobby i never use the this doses of 1000 because these are high dilutions 
and they must be used by an expert. I stick myself to 30 to 100. Of course, I know if somebody has a corn, I know I will give him anti crude 1000 for four days and the corn will go away. Uh, except I, unless I have a specific knowledge, I don't use 1000. Can you tell about different headaches and what to do? Again, it is in my book. You will see, Gracie, I have uh, I, we just briefly looked at that chapter. <clears throat> Kindly suggest treatment for acute skin. Skin allergies have to be interpreted by the doctor. I can always connect you, Anirudh, uh, with my doctor and he can provide you guidance. Again, I want to tell you, it doesn't cost you anything. You can always get the medicine locally once you know the name. And the doctor's advice, depending on, typically will not be, will be around five, 600 rupees a month. My doctor doesn't, refuses to charge more from anybody. He will write out a transparent prescription after the patient hearing, he send you the prescription, you buy the medicine, you follow his guideline, and you see the results from yourself. And you also see, you know, what truth really means. Sanjay Murli, can, you can have medicines uh, even if you are diabetic. Sultan, uh, certainly psoriasis. I have been cured of psoriasis. I just showed you my prescription. For 10, 15 years, everybody said I had no cure. But psoriasis is caused because of the modern medicine. They're only pushing the ailment deep and deep in my energy and it is becoming worse and worse by, you know, day by day. Then we have uh, Sneha, Kedia, doses will depend. Generally, two, three doses can be taken frequently. There is, in, in the dilution of 30 and 200, there will be no issue of overdose because these are so mild, so soft and they don't go very deep in your energy. Even if you've taken the wrong medicine, it, there will be just no side effect at all. <clears throat> Which is, uh, instead of NUX, you took Carbo. Instead of Carbo, you took Allosoc. Instead of Allosoc, you took something else. There's nothing to worry about that. And in, in the home guide, we have picked up the dilution. Mostly you will see 30. Because the effect of a 30 dilution is only for a very short time. And you need to have it frequently to get right within a day or two. Mukesh Narang, the lower back pain, kidney stones, skin tags, please. Uh, the book you are getting on my website and the rest you can please reach out to me and I will guide you, Mukesh. <clears throat> groin pain will go away. I have personally had groin pain. It could be of different types. I had a hernia of inguinal and before, even before I met my doctor. So I went to my homeopathic doctor. I was suffering. I would sit down and when I got up, I would have huge pain. Inguinal is the skin fold of the thigh. And then I studied my books and one day I found that solution and I immediately I was all right in two to three days. Sneha is talking about the power. <clears throat> It seems that you are you are a homeopath, which is very nice to know and very nice to hear. And I wish you the very best. And we can also, you know, work together to help the society. Uh, Gracie, homeopathic medicines do not kill tissues. They only restore your vibrations in your body and your vibrations build. They do not they only destroy the disease. Then we have Rajiv, then we have uh, Sultana have replied. IBS, uh, Amit Khemka develops over time. Again, the symptoms have to be understood. It is a problem of the mucous membrane and the toxicity in these intestines over a period of time. But uh, my doctor can advise. We are looking at several IBS cases and they are feeling they are much better off their earlier treatments. Authentic homeopathic medicines are available all over and as I think Sneha had also said, Schwabe India is a great source, very reasonably priced and very good quality. And I'm told that if you go to their website and you order, they will mail order you the medicines. The other day, somebody was showing me the invoice that, you know, I will order Shwabe India on the mail and they send me. 
you pay by the card and they'll ship you so so how how oh this chocolate ovarian says go away uh, uh, mr ram we are seeing it happening all the time i am not sure i mean i am not familiar of endometriosis but chocolate and ovarian sweets we i and my doctor we are looking at these patients and it's a common occurrence and it goes away not a problem can we use it to cure and improve vision you know girish uh, i'll tell you the best thing for vision is of course certain yoga it should improve the blood flow of in your eyes they will uh, like i had a very low vision post my illness and my surgery and you can see i am kind of doing this now without even my reading glasses is you need to have you know do exercises as well i don't think homeopathy claims to improve your vision Dinesh Kotecha again. I am not the advisor for jaundice and diabetes. My, it has to be the expert. I am only talking of normal day-to-day short-term occurrences and problems because I am not a doctor. Well, Praveen Shinde wants to know how to be healthy. The best is to be happy. There is nothing comparable to that in this world. and to be happy you have to be contented and look at the wider meaning of life and not run blind in the race of today pallavi wants medicine for regular headache again i can connect you the headache nature and frequency and timing and symptoms need to be understood as i describe in my book there are varieties of headache you have a headache in front you have a headache at the back you have a headache on the temples you have a splitting headache you have a piercing headache there are varieties of headache you have a right sided headache you have a left sided headache so with each symptom the medicines change keval samarthan no it is keval samarthan mr d mehta s a m a r p a m it is also in the mailer sent by bcaj uh praveen yes selflessness is a rare commodity in today's world because we are all indoctrinated in the race towards materialism and that is where i want everybody should go and read the april communique of our vp mr set mayor set you will realize what happiness is and how to be happy and i have specially made a extract of that mailer and i have highlighted in fact i have it here somewhere also i you know we have a limitation of time to how much we can cover today but i am happy to talk on that subject another time so rheumatic arthritis and asthma naresh uh, lot certainly there is i mean all i can tell you friends is that in today's world the only treatment is homeopathy nothing else works because the modern medicine is a synthetic molecule which i mean uh, there is not much time to explain to you but you remember that the plastic in your house which big tox you know creates toxicity in the food and the plastic water bottle and the and the fertilizers and the pesticides and the multivitamins which are all we are all consuming all kinds of synthetic molecules now natural and synthetic molecule is a very interesting subject and synthetic is anti nature dr upadhyay's contact number also i shall provide you amit these days once when you were stuck in the hospital grace most people don't come back they are only alive till they can keep paying and they have all your wealth knee replacement no but knees can be helped because uh, end of the day your knee ball and the knee bones are rubbing against each other and making it worse because the muscular activity in that area is not holding them in the right place 
So in most cases with exercise, proper exercise and treatment, the muscles can be rebuilt and this can be avoided. Uh, Neera, this is also a lot of people who, you know, I remember a doctor, doctor couple, neighbor of my doctor, who could not have had a child for about nine years. And just about a month ago, a month and a half ago, they had a child. Uh, they, they are also doctors. They were taking homeopathy treatment and the whole family is really delighted. Uh, groin in the right thigh side. Right side. I mean, one, you can always, Rajiv, try Nux Vomica for now. Take Nux Vomica 200 to three times a day for three, four days. Otherwise, you connect with the doctor. Chronic pancreatitis is curable. Gallbladder, unfortunately, Lena, the homeopathy has doesn't have a success rate really. My doctor has always refused that, you know, the gallbladders will not melt, but kidney stones will all go away. Gallbladder, there are one or two, couple of patients who have really insisted that, you know, we live with the gallbladder. There is a medicine called Cardus Marinus, mother tincture, which really relieves the problems due to weak gallbladder. And we know of one or two cases who have kind of taken that medicine for two, three years and their stones have become shorter and kind of melted away. But we really, he doesn't claim to do this. He says, I don't know. This uh, swelling due to knee replacement, again, we can uh, uh, not done any medicine for swelling. This can be Kishore helped. I live in Calcutta, Dinesh. I am not in Mumbai. I used to travel to Mumbai many, many, all the time, 10 times a year. But uh, I really last two, three years, I haven't traveled. A lot of Mumbai professionals are my very close friends and I mean, if you know, Chetan Dalal even came to see me in Calcutta when I was not well. Autoimmune conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, certainly Ram, it will give you a lot of help. My doctor is in Calcutta, but in today, the location doesn't matter, Ashish, because everything is uh, online and we can do it on the video and... Uh, this, <clears throat> this is... Uh, Thank you, Mr. K.K. Jindinwala. Thank you. Ankylizing spondylitis. Yes, certainly. Dharmendra. This is also curable. I am I'm aware and I have seen this happen. Any treatment from autism? This is like, you know, uh, Krishna Nair, you know, there are two things I really look, I'm looking at and I keep thinking about is autism and cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy, the brain is underdeveloped and the motorized function of the arms and the hands is not, uh, it will take maybe, you know, recover partially over 10 years or so. There are many cases my doctor is dealing with. But autism, yes, we can... Uh, because your brain is normal, it is just that you are not connecting uh, with your other, uh, you are not able to sort of uh, replicate into action. So autism certainly is helped. Parkinson's, yes, it is Nishit. Dementia. Again, you know, all of these things are curable, dementia, autism, Parkinson's. And if not fully curable, if the person is very old and the disease is very old, this will relieve the symptoms. You know, I always say that, look, if, if I cannot cure, at least I want to have an old person live with minimum pain. So can I bring their pain? And I'm dealing with many people above the age of 80 and 90, and they are all you know, so grateful for the, you know, comfort that they are having. <clears throat> uh, again, Pallavi, running years are not difficult to solve. They're very easy to solve. Uh, I have given my number. We send me a message. I will call. We, I will see to it that th this will all get sorted out in no time. 
Alzheimer at the age of 77, you know, it is like, what to say? You have to treat it for a while and uh, see that if over two, three months, how you feel because you know, the issue with homeopathy is that we have to look at a human being and a combination of ailments. As I showed you my prescription, my doctor wrote up almost everything about me. And then he, I, I kind of scanned it yesterday and sent it to him. And I said, you know, your 11 year old prescription is with me today and I want to talk to you. So he was laughing. He says, you know, uh, I am on, still on the same line. I think what I saw in 2011, uh, whatever be the issue with your energy is still the same thing today. Friends, we are at seven, we are at, I don't know whether we have another luxury of another 15 minutes or so, uh, but I don't mind going on for me. There is just so much to talk. There is so much to talk. It is unbelievable. And, uh, but before I finish, I want to subtly bring you to this one page and every page, you know, there are, I have uh, written about the soul -ish dimension of life. Uh, just about uh, five, six pages in this book, you know, page five, six as well, six and seven <clears throat> is the soul dimension. And I've written a preface one Sunday morning, I just sat and wrote it. Page 11 are the people who have really had a huge impact in my life. Page 26, 27 is an extract from a book on Buddhism written by a German 100 years ago. I've read that book 10 times and I have read this page 100 times and I still go back and read it. I'm very fond of Jainism and I'm listening to the lectures on Jain Mahavir from by Osho and I'm kind of totally flabbergasted, you know, that we don't know anything and there is such so much knowledge all around us. But because we are in this race and we do not pause and we do not look, we are totally missing out on the whole uh, whole thing. And what's the point of a life where we are not able to enjoy these essential parts of life as we go along in our race? End of the day, you have you know, lived a little less or enjoyed, consumed a little less, a little more, will does not matter. In this page, which I wrote, which has been read by, you know, very renowned people for me, nature, Ayurveda, homeopathy, and modern science. The first three or four paragraph is about the soul dimension of life. And then here I come the energy dimension, you know, how water, it's been my hobby to read hundreds of books and to think about every subject. And that is how I've been able to write this in, you know, the juice in these three, four pages. So anybody who is seeking to know more should read these pages. And my target is that one reading, everything should be clear. And if you have to read a sentence twice, that means I have not done my work as good as it should be. And this is the first edition and I'll be happy to kind of in, incorporate a few thoughts and a few ideas. So with that, uh, you know, I don't want to just go on and on. <clears throat> Gracie, it was very nice of you to have coordinated with me for so many days <coughs> to make this happen, which is really close to my heart. But slowly everything will be on my website and uh, you could also, those who are interested in wider dimensions can follow my Facebook page, which is like a library. For me, Facebook is just a, a repository of my library and soon I will review and I will make sure that I download all that I need and I put it on my website. Because this big tech is all the time deleting stuff which can awaken humanity because that is not in their business interests. <laughs> Right, we can uh, just continue with the screen sharing. <clears throat> Mr. Junyunwala, Gracie. Sir, Namaskar. Namaskar. Uh, Gracie, ma'am, can we hear you? Uh, please unmute yourself. Yes.
Gracie, ma'am, please unmute yourself. Gracie is asking you to unmute her. I can't. Is Ryan there or is Bilal, Bilal there? Mr. Bilal? So she is a co-host. Can do herself, sir. How would you do it if she is unable to do it? Uh, she, please. Yes. yes. Yes, Gracie, you are unmuted. Okay, sir. Never matter. Never mind. He joins. We he will talk, sir. Sure. Uh, Namaskar, sir. First of all, my sincere apology. I could not log in today, Rajni, sir. But uh, Rajni, sir, मेरे पास शब्द नहीं है मैं किस तरीके से आपको मतलब आपको grateful मैं members के भी हाथ में कहूँ मतलब what you were speaking purely, purely from your heart, very selflessly, very devotedly. You could you could connect very easily. एंड इतने ईज जो संतोष भाव एंड सरल भाव जो बोलते हैं सहज भाव से आप हम लोगों से जुड़े हुए थे और जो सेवा आप कर रहे हैं सर मैं अभिभूत हूं सर आपके बारे में जान के मैंने सबसे पहले करीब एक महीने पहले आपका ये ये प्रोग्राम होने वाला है उसको जान के हम लोगों की बड़ी उत्कंठा थी कि हम कब रजनी सर को सुनेंगे लेकिन आज सुनने के बाद तो लग रहा है कि ये टाइम रुके ही नहीं सुनते ही जाए सुनते ही जाए सुनते ही जाए सर बिल्कुल सी अपना अनुभव और उस अनुभव का वो एक कन्विक्शन के रूप में रखना और फिर सेवा भाव से उसको सबके बीच में बांट देना ये ये बहुत ही बड़ी खूबी है सर आपके अंदर बिल्कुल मतलब हम न केवल ये होम्योपैथी मेडिसिन सर आपने आज हम लोगों को इतनी सारी चीजें एक लेक्चर में सिखाई है यू कांट एक्सप्रेस एन अ ग्रेटिट्यूड सर सबसे पहले प्योरिटी ऑफ हार्ट फिर सेल्फलेस हार्ट फिर डिवोटेडली फिर एकदम पर्पजफुल लाइफ मैन विथ ए मिशन मैन विथ सर्विस मॉड टोटल गिविंग मॉड नॉट इन टेकिंग मॉड मतलब जो लाइफ के जो स्पिरिचुअल ह्यूमन बींग के जो ऑब्जेक्ट होने चाहिए जो इस मनुष्य जन्म जो हमें मिला है उस जन्म को आप जिस तरीके से जी रहे हैं और अपने जीवन चरित्र से हम सब लोगों को जो समझाया है बहुत खूब सर बहुत खूब हम यही चाहते हैं सर आप शतायु हो और इस तरीके से ये जो अलग आपने जगह है ये दुनिया के कोने कोने में पहुंचे हमारी फ्रेटर्निटी में पहुंचे अक्रॉस इंडिया पहुंचे और उसके लिए जो भी बेस्ट बन पड़ेगा सर हम लोग आपके साथ जुड़ेंगे और आपकी इस मिशन आपकी यात्रा के सहभागी रखे उसको आगे तक लेके जाएंगे सर बिल्कुल मैं तीन चार चीजें जरूर आपको नोट करना चाहूंगा सर जो आपने आपने जो हेल्दी रहने का एक बहुत छोटा सा फार्मूला बताया कि बेसिकली अगर आप संतुष्टि की तरफ बढ़ते हैं तो फिर आप हैप्पीनेस मोड में आते हैं हैप्पीनेस मोड में रहते हैं तो फिर अपने आप हेल्दी हो जाते हैं दवाइयां तो अपना काम करती रहती है लेकिन माइंड अपना काम जो कर ठीक से नहीं करता तो उसको बार बार में सोच समझ के उसको अलाइन करते रहने का उसके अंदर दैट वॉज सच ए सिंपल फार्मूला बट इट्स सो पावरफुल सर एंड वेरी 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 पावरफुल यू सैड इट्स एंड आप जीते जागते उदाहरण है सर हम कई बार कई चीजें कहते हैं लेकिन हम उसको अपने अनुभव में नहीं रखते हैं वी जस्ट प्रीच यू नो बट वन कैन सी वन कैन सी फ्रॉम योर राइज फ्रॉम योर टोटल ओरा इट्स सो पावरफुल सर बिल्कुल सो मैं कोई फॉर्मल वोट ऑफ थैंक्स नहीं बोलूंगा सर जो हम नॉर्मल बोला करते हैं लेकिन आप आपने हमारे हृदय में जिसको बोलते हैं ना राज किया सर और हम आपको भूल नहीं सकते हम आपको तहे दिल से इनवाइट करते हैं सर आप जब भी मुंबई आना चाहें जब भी आपका भी प्रोग्राम हो तो हम बी में फिजिकल भी प्रोग्राम रखेंगे एंड पहले से मेंबर को करीब टेन थाउजेंड हम सबको इन्वाइट करेंगे जो लोग फिजिकल जुड़ना चाहे फिजिकल जुड़ेंगे जो वर्चुअल मोड पर रहना चाहे वो वर्चुअल मोड पर जुड़ेंगे एंड आपकी ये जो ज्ञान की श्रृंखला है सर इसको आप ऐसे ही आगे बढ़ाते रहिए ये आपसे विनती करेंगे और इसमें जो कुछ हम कर सकते हैं सर आप हमें जरूर बताते रहिएगा बिल्कुल सर है ना सो रिजल्ट और मैंने आपकी वेबसाइट भी आज ही विजिट की सर और वो बुक भी डाउनलोड की जो आपने लिखी है यानी आपकी आप देखिए मतलब आप जो कहते हैं करते हैं आप हर एक चीज आप गिविंग मोड में मैं जो जितना समझ पाया हूँ अब तक की लाइफ में बहुत बिरले लोग होते हैं सर लाखों लाखों लोगों में एक आध दो इस तरीके के गिविंग मोड में होते हैं 
वही सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन की सही यात्रा होती है जो आप जी रहे हैं सर मेरे को तो व्यक्तिगत रूप से आपने मुझे बहुत टच किया सर डीपली टच मैं सिर्फ दो छोटे पॉइंट बोलूंगा प्लीज सर कि मौत से हाथ मिला के वापस आने से इंसान बदल जाता है जी सुप्रीम कॉन्शियसनेस का कोई ये दिशा है कि तुम वापस जाओ और कुछ करो जी तो हम लोग तो खाली एक निमित्त मात्र है जो वासुदेव कुटुंब कम मैंने लिखा है वो मेरी किताब में आप प्रीफेस में पढ़ेंगे तो सारी बात आपको क्लियर हो जाएगी मैं बीसीए के सीटीसी के मैं अक्सर मिस्टर पाटिल को बहुत याद करता हूँ अक्सर लिखते हैं वी एच पाटिल उनका वो कमेमोरेटिव इशू सीटीसी ने निकाला था अभी हाँ। वो भी यहाँ देखिएगा मेरे सामने है हाँ। तो उनकी लिखी हुई बातों को बहुत देखता हूँ उनके बाद मेहर भाई की बातों को मैंने बार बार पढ़ता हूँ तो बहुत लोगों के अंदर बहुत कुछ है बस थोड़ा सा एक जगाने की जरूरत है बस नहीं सर बहुत ही आनंद आया आपकी ये बात जान के समझ के हम इस यात्रा को जारी रखेंगे मैं खाली एक संक्षिप्त में एक लाइन बताना चाहूंगा सर कि हमारी सीए प्रैक्टिस के अलावा विशेष रूप से आ, मेरा एक ग्रुप है केयरिंग फ्रेंड्स ग्रुप बोलते हैं हम लोग उसको खाली एक एक लाइन में इसलिए बता रहा हूँ क्योंकि आज अप्रोप्रिएट टाइम नहीं है उसके लिए सो so, हम ये जो सोशल कॉजेस हैं सर कि किस तरीके से एजुकेशन में हम चेंज ला सकते हैं हेल्प कर सकते हैं डाउन प्रोडर एंड अनप्रिवलेज लोग हैं एंड हेल्थ केयर में हम हेल्प कर सकते हैं एंड वीमेन एम्पावरमेंट में लाइवलीहुड में एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर में ऐसे बहुत सारे करीब मोर देन हंड्रेड एन से मैं जुड़ा हुआ हूँ एंड पैन इंडिया उनकी प्रजेंस है मैं चाहूंगा कि आपकी प्रजेंस उन सब तक पहुंचे सर क्योंकि आपका जो ज्ञान है आपका जो नॉलेज है अपार्ट फ्रॉम मेडिसिन जो रियल जो शाश्वत ज्ञान जिसको कहते हैं परपीचुअल नॉलेज वो कभी पुराना नहीं होता कभी ऑब्सोलिट नहीं होता आप उस नॉलेज के धनी है सर वो आपने अपनी मतलब जिया है उस नॉलेज को वो जो चीज आप जी रहे हैं वही हमें बता रहे हैं सर सो मैं आपसे बाद में ऑफलाइन बात करूंगा सर और उस तरीके से आप सारे मेंबर्स के सारे इनिशिएटिव में मेरे को जो कुछ भी समझता हूँ सबको शेयर करने के लिए मैं अवेलेबल हूँ मोस्ट मोस्ट ग्रेटफुल सर और बस लास्ट में हम लोगों को एक यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ की एक अगेन दो लाइन की प्रेयर बोलेंगे जी प्रोग्राम खत्म करने के इसको तो मेरी सिस्टर बोलेगी क्योंकि ये ऐसी चीजें हैं हमारे बहुत प्राचीन इतिहास की वो ऐसा सत्य है कि उसका कोई आज के युग में कुछ उसके बराबर है नहीं सर दीदी जो प्रार्थना करे उसके पहले एक चीज खाली लास्ट कहना चाहूंगा कि जो गौतम बुद्धा का आपने जिक्र किया था मैं भी उनका फैन हूँ जैन फिलोसफी का भी फैन हूँ तो गौतम बुद्धा बड़े प्यार से समझाते हैं कि जिस तरीके से हम कभी कोई भी अपने बिजनेस काम से बाहर जाते हैं या कोई भी विदेश यात्रा पे जाते हैं और जब वापस आते हैं तो हमारे घर वाले किस तरीके से हमारा स्वागत करते हैं किस तरीके से जैसे कोई राजा के मंत्री हैं या राजा के सैनिक है किसी युद्ध पे गए वापस आने पे उनका किस तरीके से स्वागत होता है उसी तरीके से इंसान के जो गुड डीड्स हैं अच्छे कर्म हैं जो उसके जैसे आप कर रहे हैं एक तरीके से ये कर्म तो यही कर्म उसके साथ जाते हैं और वो जब वो जिस सेलेस्टियल वर्ल्ड में बिकॉज वी डोंट नो एग्जैक्टली वेर वी गो मूव फ्रॉम दिस जर्नी तो यही हमारा स्वागत सत्कार करते हैं और सब चीजें रह जाती है कुछ नहीं रहती है सो वॉट यू आर डूइंग दैट इज गोइंग टू रिमेन बाकी और कुछ नहीं रहने वाला सर तो so, सर मेरी यही सब शुभकामनाएं कि आप हमें भी अपने लाइक बनाते रहिए हमें संभालते रहिए हमें गाइड करते रहिए एंड ट्रू नॉलेज से वाकिफ कराते रहिए सर लीडर से बहुत बहुत आभार सर सभी मेंबर की तरफ से प्लीज सर थैंक यू जी जी सर्वे भवन तो सुखी नर्वे संतु निरा सर्वे भद्रा पश्य कशीत दुख भावे ओ शांति 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 ओ बुद्धाय नम नमस्कार सर थैंक यू नमस्कार